Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people! And today we'll be reviewing Transformers. Titans Return, Mind Wipe, and he is one of the original... Headmaster Decepticons. This is my second one. Well, the second one I have, first one I have is the original, the Cyberverse Titans Return style figure, but it doesn't, the head doesn't come off, which is the only nitpick I have about it. But I'm definitely stoked to add this to the collection for sure. As you know me, I love Transformers. Transformers are awesome. I do have a collection of Titans Return figures now. If you're wondering how many do I own this year, this makes the sixth Transformers Titans Return figure I have ever collected in the history of my YouTube channel. And I'm so glad to be adding this guy to the collection. And with the name like Mindwipe, he can take control of people's minds. Before we get down to transformation, Let's look at his bat mode and look at how glorious this thing is. Wings move, which is pretty cool. I did break a piece of his wing off because he was a little bit brittle there. Uh, sometimes you make a mistake like that and it damages the figure. These brittle wings aren't as strong as they used to be, but now that we looked at the bat mode, we're going to get down to comparisons. Here is the Cyberverse Skull Cruncher next to good old Titans Return Mind Wipe. If I find the Titans Return Skull Cruncher, I will pick him up. But for now, I'm happy I have these two. The only one I need to find is Wolf Wire. But now for a Decepticon vehicle mode comparison with Titans Return Scourge. And then it's time for Transformation. And this is based on the 1980s character, so it's pretty cool. Transform it, we're going to take this shield off. And I got this random gun because I don't have his original gun here. So yeah, he'll have a gun right on the shelf. It's easy to transform him. We're going to rotate his legs down, fold it up like this, fold this in, flip down the foot, and there we got a foot all done. Second verse, just like the first, we're going to straighten out the leg, fold it together, like so. And there we got another leg nearly done. And there's, there's the lower body done. And this is going to form a backpack on his back, but we're going to remove his headmaster before we get on to getting him out. So we got to remove his headmaster, which is going to play a big, important role in the transformation, as you know. And we're going to straighten out his legs, getting them all situated. And now, fold this up, rotate this into his back. And now we work on Mind Wipe's arms, which are very simple. We're going to fold these down, straighten them out, like so. Flip out his hand, like so. Make sure they're straight like this. And then we got an arm all done. Flip out his hand. Second verse, just like the first, flip it down, fold it out, flip out his hand right there. And so far, there is Mind Wipe in his robot mode. And now for the final step, we're going to add his Headmaster and make him his good, good, good old good. self. And this arm shield can go right on his shoulder right here. It's how he was made to wield it, and because I don't have his original blaster, we can give him this blaster, and now he's all fire-powered out. He's ready to go blast some Autobots with those big guns. Ready to go take this blast blaster power, Autobots. <laughs> mind wipe superior, Autobots inferior, and I'll control your very minds. But now that we're done with comparisons in beast mode we're going to get down to comparing them with some other 
figures. Here is my Skull Cruncher. Once I get them transformed on camera, we'll do Skull Cruncher next to Mind Wipe, which we're going to disconnect this tail like so. Fold down his legs like so. This folds to the back. And you fold out his arms like so and straighten them out like so. Rotate. Make sure that this panel is able to reveal the hands. And there you got Skull Cruncher, nearly transformed for his comparison next to Mind Wipe. The Decepticon duo is in the house. And we're going to give Mind Skull Cruncher his blaster. Sorry, I already have a blaster for Mind Wipe. I'm easily getting confused right now. And yes, he does have a gimmick, but I'm not a fond of the gimmick, so we're going to just leave it like that. We got him wielding his blaster and his tail blade, which is cool. I love that they did that. And he's got a little Energon helmet. <laughs> I keep forgetting about this. It was a Cyberverse figure, so of course it's a gimmick figure. So here we got Mind Wipe next to Skull Cruncher. The Decepticon Headmasters are finally together. I look forward to finding Wolfwire and completing the set, but for now, I got Mind Wipe and Skull Cruncher. But now we're going to compare him next to Scourge, another one of my Titans Returns figures. I would compare him next to Trypticon, but he is so big, he takes up a whole shelf. So I'm not going to dig him out because he's so big and he's hard enough to deal with. But yeah, I do have some big figures in my collection. But if I get Black Zarek, you'll see me compare Black Zarek next to Scorponok and Trypticon and then the Headmaster Decepticons. The only one I wish they would have remade would be Titans Return Fortress Maximus. I hope they do a reissue of that. Because I really want Fortress Maximus to go with my Headmaster Autobots and Target Master Autobots. But I do like having Scourge in my collection. He is definitely a cool figure. And I'm definitely glad I have him. I have Mind Wipe now. I have Cup and all the others from the Titans Return line. But yeah, I love these figures so much and they're so much fun the transform. But here is Scourge next to Mind Wipe from Titans Return. Of course, we got Titans Return Perceptor Autobot comparison, if I do say so myself. We got Decepticon Octane. I love having Octane. So he was one of my favorite figures I picked up. Of course, with Titans Return Autobot cup and last but not least hot rod i misplaced his head somewhere I, i'll have to look for it thoroughly or buy another head for this guy but here is hot rod next to that figure is a transformers titans return mind wipe worth adding to your collection i think so yes he's an awesome looking figure He's a Bat Transformer, and he can control Autobots' minds. I love having this guy. And I'm so glad I got this guy for only 10 bucks. He was worth the money. I would definitely highly recommend this if you can get him for that much. But try not to break a piece off of him, because he's really brittle. But for now, I will look forward to adding this guy to my collection. If you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, please make sure to like Please make sure to comment and don't forget to subscribe. And tomorrow morning early at 10 a.m. We'll be heading to the Goodie Will outlet. So there'll be no side videos this week because we're heading to the Goodie Will. Where everything's by the pound and we'll be there for five hours before I have to be home for work. So we'll have five whole hours to go thrift store and at the Goodwill outlet. And maybe because it's super early, they'll have all the good stuff brought out. Can't wait. And I've already got a toy hunting list set up. And now this is Eddie Hill.
moving on, and rock on and rock out. YouTube land. Uh, miscalculation on my end. Uh, 